Gap in employment. TLDR stupidest reason possible explaining a gap in employment. 1986. Buying our first house. Applying for a mortgage. Young lady preparing all the paperwork to submit the loan application to the bank. We were told she was the best never had a loan turned down. We were to do as she said. We submitted pay stubs, tax returns, bank statements, employment history, etc., etc., and tried to dot all the as and cross all the t's. When we thought we were all done, she explained that we needed one more thing. I needed to write a letter explaining a gap in my employment. What? A gap? What gap? Well, it turns out that I had indicated in one of the forms I submitted that my last day of one job was a Friday, and my first day of the new job did not begin until the following Monday. I politely indicated that was nuts. There wasn't a gap. That was a weekend, which is a pretty normal thing. She insisted however, that she was the GOAT, or the 1980s equivalent of the GOAT, and that we knew nothing about the process and she would not be denied if we wanted our loan. Annoyed, I complied. I wrote a letter explaining the gap in my employment. To whom it may concern. About that gap in employment from Friday to Monday. I was engaged in running guns for the Nicaraguan rebels the entire weekend. Running guns for the Nicaraguan rebels was kind of a thing at the time. Signed it and submitted it. Don't know if she ever read it or not. Or even included it in the loan application package. We got the loan. Her record remained perfect. I just heard a similar story where someone claimed they were not permitted to talk about that gap. Due to an NDA. Ollie? Ollie North, is that you? Serious question what if I just didn't want to work for a year and I spent it on a beach in Nassau? Putting beaded braids in tourists' hair for money. Why does that mean I can't do the job I'm applying for now lol? Legend. I'd have gone with a spike in the background chronotron radiation of the quadrant. Causing a temporal blip and two missed days of personal causality covered. Naturally. By my banked PTO. Did you notice the increase in vans parked outside of your home after that? I had to write a letter due to a gap in employment when trying to become a homeowner as well. I had to rewrite it for them several times as they didn't like going to college as an excuse for not working as well as being on my deathbed in the ER. Once I threatened legal action it suddenly wasn't a problem. They managed to drag it out long enough. Nine months. That the interest rate managed to double from 2.5 to 5%. I am a homeowner somehow. But I'm still pissed off. They trying to catch you right and dirty. As a former mortgage underwriter. That was not a gap in employment and the loan officer's request was asinine. You know, I gotta remember that one. I've come up with a few ideas over the years. That's definitely my style. For what it's worth a weekend gap will affect your retirement date. Goat? I've been in the same situation. I was on a week-long course between jobs. Paid for by a specific manufacturer. I put that down as UN peace negotiator for the Italo-Ethiopian War. The war was from 1895 to 1896. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.